Hey guys, welcome back to the videos for theory for now. We will be discussing chapter 12 in this video, and this is going to be a two part video. So, part one, we will be talking about um, what chemistry is and why we study it. We will be talking about organic chemistry and inorganic chemistry. We'll be talking about matter, elements, and atoms, molecules, and the state of matter. And we will also be talking about physical and chemical properties of matter today in this video. So after watching the two parts to this video, you should be able to list the difference between organic chemistry and inorganic chemistry. You should be able to categorize and give different examples of substances for each of the different states of matter, solid, liquids, and gases. You should be able to explain the differences between physical substances and phys physical mixtures. And you should also be able to tell what pH is and what the pH scale is. Prior to this video, you should have already read chapter 12. We're gonna talk about why you study chemistry. Um, without an understanding of basic chemistry, you would not be able to perform professional services. You would not be able to use professional products effectively and safely. Every product used in the salon and in cosmetology services contains some type of chemical. With an understanding of chemistry, you'll be able to troubleshoot and solve common problems you may encounter with chemical services. Most cosmetology services depend on the use of chemicals. Studying the basics of chemistry means that you will have the knowledge you need to understand the products that you are using in the salon to give your clients prof professional services they deserve. So chemistry is a science that deals with the composition, structures, and properties of matter and how matter changes under different conditions. Organic chemistry is a study of substances that contain the element carbon, all living things or things that were once alive, whether they are plants or animals contain carbon. All hair color products, chemical textures, shampoos, conditioners, styling aids, nail enhancement, and skincare products are organic chemicals. Inorganic chemicals is the study of substances that do not contain the element carbon, but may contain the element hydrogen. So things like minerals, metals, glass, water, air, pure water, oxygen, hydrogen peroxide, hydrogen hair relaxers, titanium dioxide, and zinc oxide in sun protection cream are inorganic chemicals. So matter is any substance that occupies a space that has mass or weight. All matter has physical and chemical properties and exists in the form of a solid, liquid, or gas. Since matter is made from chemicals, everything made out of matter is a chemical.
An element is the simplest form of chemical matter. It cannot be broken down into simpler substances without loss of identity. All matter in the universe is made up of the 118 known elements and they have their own distinct physical and chemical properties. Each element is identified by a letter such as O for oxygen, H for hydrogen, S for sulfur, N for nitrogen, C for carbon. There are 98 naturally occurring elements. Uh, symbols for all the elements can be found on the periodic table. An atom is a basic unit of matter with a nucleus at the center surrounded by negatively charged electrons that move around the nucleus in orbits. The nucleus consists of protons and neutrons, and the number of protons determines the element. Atoms cannot be divided into simpler substances by ordinary chemical means. A molecule is a chemical combination of two or more atoms in definite proportions, which means fixed. For example, water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen. element molecule is a chemical co combination of atoms of the same element in fixed proportions. The air we breathe is an element molecule, which is O2. The ozone in the atmosphere is an element molecule O3. Compound molecules are chemical compounds of two or more atoms of different elements in fixed proportions. Sodium chloride, which would be NaC1, or common table salt, is a compound molecule that contains one atom of sodium, which is Na, and one atom of chlorine, which is Cl. States of matter. All matter exists in three different physical forms or, state, or states of matter, such as solid, liquid, or gas. Matter takes on one of these forms or states depending on its temperature. For example, solids have a definite shape, volume, and weight. Liquids have a definite volume and weight, but not a definite shape. So water takes on the shape of its container.
Gases do not have a definite volume or shape. Neon and argon are two different gases. Vapor is a liquid that has evaporated into a gas-like state. Vapors can return to being a liquid when they cool down to room temperature, unlike gas. Steam is, a, is an example of vapor. Vapors are not a unique state of matter. They're liquids that have undergone a physical change. Physical properties and characteristics that can be determined without a chemical reaction and that do not involve a chemical change in the substance. Physical properties can include color, solubility, odor, density, melting point, boiling point, hardness, and glossiness. Chemical properties are characteristics that can only be determined by a chemical reaction and a chemical change in the substance. Example of chemical properties include the ability of iron to rust, wood to burn, or hair to change color through the use of hair color and hydrogen peroxide. Physical and chemical changes. Matter can be changed in two different ways. Physical forces caused by physical change and chemical reactions causes chemical changes. A physical change is a change in the form without forming a new substance. For example, solid ice melts and becomes water. There are no new chemicals, it's just a different form. A chemical change is the change of a substance's chemical composition. A chemical change creates new substances with different properties. Example, iron to rust, wood into ashes, the oxidation of hair color, or the polymerization of an artificial nail enhancement. Oxidation is a chemical reaction that combines a substance with oxygen to produce an oxide, such as oxidation of melanin pigments in hair by hydrogen peroxide in lightning processes. Oxidation reduction, also known as redox, is a chemical reaction in which oxidation and reduction take place at the same time. An oxidizing agent is a substance that releases oxygen. For example, hydrogen peroxide 
can be thought of as water with an extra atom of oxygen. A reducing agent is a substance that adds hydrogen to the chemical compound or subtracts oxygen from the compound. An exothermic reaction is a chemical reaction in which a significant amount of heat is released. Combustion is the rapid oxidation of a substance accompanied by the produ production of heat and light. All matter can be classified as either a pure substance or a physical mixture. A pure substance is a chemical combination of matter in definite proportions, which means it's fixed. Pure substances have unique properties. Aluminum foil is an example of a pure substance. It only has atoms of the element aluminum. Physical mixture is the physical combination of matter in any proportion. The properties of a physical mixture are the combined properties of the substance in the mixtures. Salt water is a physical mixture of salt and water in any proportion. Solutions, suspensions, and emulsions. A solution is a stable mixture of two or more substances in a solvent. A solute is a dissolved substance in a solution. And a solvent is a substance, usually liquid, which dissolves another substance to form a solution with no change in chemical composition. For example, when sugar is dissolved into hot water, the sugar, a solid, is the solute, and the water, which is the liquid, is the solvent. Water is the universal solvent. Miscible liquids are manually soluble, 
meaning that they can be mixed together to form clear solutions. Water and alcohol are examples of miscible liquids as in nail polish remover. When these substances are mixed together, they will stay mixed, forming a solution. Immiscible liquids are not capable of being mixed to form a stable solution, for example, oil and water. Suspensions are unstable physical mixtures of undissolved particles in a liquid. Emulsion is an unstable physical mixture of two or more immiscible substances that normally will not stay blended, plus a special ingredient called an emulsifier. An emulsifier is an ingredient that brings two normally incompatible ma materials together and binds them into a uniformly and fairly stable blend. Emulsions are considered to be a special type of suspension because they can separate, but the separation usually happens very slowly over a longer period of time. Surfactants are the substances that allow oil and water to mix or emulsify. They are one type of emulsifier. The term surfactant is a contraction for service active agents, substances that allow oil and water to mix or emulsify. The head of a surfactant is hydrophilic or water loving and dissolves in water. The tail of surfactant is lipophilic, or oil-loving and dissolves in oil. Oil and water emulsion. Oil in water emulsion is created whenever oil droplets are emulsified in water. The droplets of oils are surrounded by surfactic molecules with their lipophectic tails pointing in and their hydrophilic heads pointing out. Tiny oil droplets from the eternal portion of each um, oil and water emulsion because the oil is completely surrounded by water. Oil and water emulsions do not feel as greasy as water in oil emulsions because the oil is hidden and the water forms external portion of the emulsion. Water in oil emulsion is created whenever water droplets are emulsified in oil. The droplets of water are surrounded by surfactants, which the hydrophilic heads are pointing in and the lipophilic tails are pointing out. So tiny droplets of water form the internal portion of water and oil emulsions 
because water is completely surrounded by oil. Water in emulsions feel greasier than oil in water emulsions because the water is hidden and the oil is the external portion of the emulsion. So, uh, <clears throat> styling creams, cold creams, foot balms are examples. Other physical mixtures, ointments, paste, pomades, and styling waxes are semi-solid mixtures made with any combinations of petroleum, oil, and wax. Powders are physical mixtures of one or more types of solids. Off-the-scalp powder light hair lighteners are physical mixtures. These mixtures may separate during shipping and storage and should be thoroughly mixed by shaking the container before each use. Volatile alcohols evaporate easily, such as isopropyl alcohol, which would be rubbing alcohol, ethyl alcohol, which would be hairspray and alcoholic beverages. These chemicals are familiar to most people, but there are many other types of alcohols. From free-flowing liquids to hard, waxy solids, fatty alcohols, such as cetyl alcohol and cetyryl alcohol, are non-volatile alcohol waxes that are used as skin conditioners. Alkanolamines are alkaline substances used to neutralize acids or to raise the pH of many hair products. They're often used in place of ammonia because they produce less odor. Ammonia is a colorless gas that is composed of hydrogen and nitrogen. It's used to raise the pH in hair products and allow the solution to penetrate into the hair shaft. Ammonium hydroxide and ammonium thioglycolate are examples of ammonium compounds that are used to perform chemical services in a salon. Glycerin is a sweet, colorless, oily substance. It is used as a solvent and as moisturizers in skin and body creams. Silicone, it's a special type of oil used in hair conditioners, water resistant lubricants for skin, and nail polish dryers. Silicones are less greasy than other oils and form a breathable film that does not cause comedones or blackheads. Silicones also give the skin a silky smooth feeling and a great shine to hair. Volatile organic compounds are compounds that contain carbon, organic, and evaporate very easily, which is volatile. <clears throat> volatile organic compounds are compounds that contain carbon and evaporate very easily. 
For example, a common VOC is used in hairspray, CD alcohol, or ethyl alcohol. Volatile organic solvents such as ethyl acetate and isopropyl alcohol are used in nail polishes, face and top coat, and polish removers.